Hey everybody, Josh from Populi here. Today we're gonna look at the enrollments report, creating that report, and then some features involved there, and then especially looking at withdrawals, drops, and deletions. A report like this lets you see your enrollment for an entire term by student, by course. The initial report is helpful, but pretty basic. However, we can sort and filter that to get down to some pretty good data in the details there. For instance, looking at enrollments or drops within a given time frame. Of course, there can be lots of different goals for an enrollment report like this, but one of the big ones would be getting a bird's eye view of say, students who are struggling, lower grades, that sort of thing. And then also being able to see your enrolled students versus drop students and things like that. In order to be able to do this, to be able to look at the enrollments report, you'll need either the academic admin or registrar role. To start off and just get a little context, we'll go to academics, academic term info, and then over to the statistics sill over here. And you can see we've got some basic information about enrollment. We've got um, your enrolled students at 11. We've got one auditor, one withdrawn student, one incomplete student. So this is general information. But if we wanna get more than an overview and actually see the details on the enrollments report, we can go to academics, reporting, and then into enrollments. And there we have all enrollments for the current term. This particular table defaults to just show us that current term. So whatever term we're currently falling within the time frame of, that's what you've got there as a default. If you need to look at a term other than what's already here, it's real easy to make that change. You'll go up into the filter here to choose a condition. You'll choose course term. You'll select whatever term you want, add that, and then delete this other term here, and then apply your filter, and you'll get the term that you want to look at. This term is going to work great for our purposes today. So as is, this report here is showing us all of these students. We can see their program. We've got their academic term that's designated here. And then we have the courses that they're enrolled in. We've got their status, so that would be enrolled versus auditors or incomplete or withdrawn or some other statuses that, uh, that we can pull in there as well. We've got their grades. That's their numerical grade. And then we also have their letter grade over there on the right. And again, we're looking at this by student, by course. So you'll see here for the student at the top, we're showing his name three times because he's enrolled in three courses in this term. Because this is an example and we're obviously not using live data from an actual school, you'll see that most of these students just have one enrollment there. Typically, of course, you would see many students with multiple enrollments in a term, so each student would look more like this one here with all their enrollments listed one after another. So when we look up at the top there and we see 16 results, that doesn't mean 16 students enrolled in this term. It means 16 enrollments. To get an example of how we would use filters on this report, let's look for students who are struggling. So students with slightly lower grades, we're going to pull up the grade condition. We're gonna say is less than or equal to, and in this situation, C grades start at 79.99. Um, so we're gonna add that there. So anybody who scored less than an 80, um, and we'll apply that filter. And then now we're looking at a pared down list that's showing us just three students um, who have a C or lower. So this would be an easy way of looking at all of your enrollments for a term and seeing where students are having trouble. Let's remove that condition here and then we're gonna add a couple of options here so that we can see students that would normally fall outside of this report that we wanna get a view of. So I'm gonna choose um, both of these conditions, include drop students is yes, and then include deleted students is yes. We'll talk a little more about what that means. We'll apply this filter again. So you remember we had 16 results before, but now we're pulling back 20 results. Um, so we have those drop students and deleted student enrollments 
pulled up here as well. So now that we have that list, we've got a full list of, of all the students, including those categories. We can sort by the status column so that we can pull everybody up kind of by their status group there. So you can see we've got two deleted students showing right here, as well as these dropped students. Let's talk about the negative um, enrollment categories that we have here. We've got withdrawn, dropped, and deleted. Withdrawn students are going to be students who've been withdrawn from the course after the ad drop date. What happens for them is that they're out of the course and then they receive a W on their transcript. So there's a lasting record of their withdrawal. Drop students are different. They um, would be anybody who's been dropped from the course before the ad drop date. So that could be a student withdrawing themselves or a, an administrator withdrawing them. And that in, will include students who also withdrew before the start date of the course at all. So that dropped category catches everybody there. Deleted students are students whose enrollment has been deleted directly out of the course by an administrator. From Populi's perspective, the correct time to delete a student's enrollment like that is if they should never have been in the course in the first place. So when you have an accidental enrollment of a student in a given course, then you would delete their enrollment. It removes them out of the course entirely. And that's the use that Populi intends for uh, enrollment deletion. Let's see how we can use the filter and conditions there to show even more detail on this report. We have our drop students. Let's first of all, just focus directly on those drop students. We're gonna go up and choose the status is dropped. We're gonna add that and then apply filter. Now we're looking at just those two drop students there. But let's say we want to also bring in a time frame so that we can see who dropped before the beginning of the term. And then obviously we could also see who dropped after that point. So I'm going to go to choose a condition and then I'm going to go to the option for status date, that condition. I'm going to change that to before or equal to. And then the start date of the course was December 16th, 2021. So we're gonna input that and then add it and then apply the filter. Now this student that's left is the only student who dropped the course before the course even began. So obviously you can see how you can kind of get more detail on how students are behaving with certain courses. You can see based on this, of course, which courses students are dropping. So maybe there's a trend of students dropping a particular course. You would be able to use that course column there to identify courses that are losing students at a particular rate or at a particular time um, in the courses running. There are lots of other applications for this table than what we've shown you here. We've just looked at a couple. Um, but once you start using the table, more options should sort of present themselves to you. As with other tables in Populi, you're able to use the actions button here to do things with this list of students that you've got now. You can email students, tag those results, or export this data out to a spreadsheet. One thing that makes the enrollments report a little different than many other tables in Populi is that when you export this data, there's a lot of other data behind the scenes. So once you get it out to a spreadsheet, you'll have a lot more columns that you can work with there. So you can refine the report that you're building here in Populi and then export it out to a spreadsheet and then work with it further out there. That's how you create an enrollment report in Populi and use filters and conditions there to get more specific about that data. We also covered the withdrawn, dropped, and deleted statuses. Thanks for watching. I'm Josh from Populi. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. And then when the notifications bell pops up, click that too to get updates about whenever we post a new video to our channel. You can also click like. Eh? Also, you'll see down in the description that we have links to all of our social media. So go ahead and check us out over there as well. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.